Welcome to the second mini lecture of screening lecture series and today I am going to discuss about validity and reliability. Here I am not going to talk about the definitions of validity and reliability but I am trying to give an overview and good understanding about validity and reliability. To understand these concepts we have a volunteer whose name is Mr. Robin, Mr. Robin Hood and his fasting blood sugar level is 100. And we have four screening tests to measure Mr. Robin's blood sugar A, B, C, and D. We have measured Mr. Robin's blood sugar level four times from each test A four times, B four times, C four times, and D four times. You can see Mr. Robin's blood sugar level in this target. Here is the exact Mr. Robin's blood sugar level which is 100 and towards this side the blood sugar will be 200 and towards this side Mr. Robin's blood sugar will be 0. We can think like that and look at test A, screening test A. Screening test has provided almost similar values to Mr. Robin's blood sugar. Test A, test A, A, A. So all the four times, almost similar values to 100. As it produced similar values to 100, we can call that as a valid test. In this table, this is validity, this is reliability, and these are the screening tests A, B, C, and D. And also, test a has repeatedly produced the same result. Earlier that we discussed, test A has produced exactly similar values to 100 and now we are discussing test A has produced the same result in repetitive measurements. So we can call that as a reliable test. So test A is a valid test and reliable test. So look at test B. In test B, has not produced exactly similar values to Mr. Robin's blood sugar. So, it is not a valid test. But, test has repeatedly produced this almost same result. It has the repeatability. So, because of that, we call that as a reliable test. Test A is a valid and accurate. Test B is not valid but it is reliable because in repetitive measurements, test B has produced the same result. Look at test C. Test C, C, C and C. Test C has not produced similar results in repetitive measurements. One is here, one is here, one is here, and one is here. So it's not a reliable test. Test C is not a reliable test. But what is the average of test C? If you can get the average of these four values, you may be able to get a similar value to 100. So we can call that as a valid test. Look at test D. We received haphazard result from test D. So it's neither valid nor accurate. So simply we can call validity as the ability of a screening test to measure the exact value and reliability is the ability of a screening test to produce similar results in repetitive measurements. I hope that you have some idea about what is validity and reliability. In the next lecture, I'm going to talk about different uh, methods of assessing validity of screening tests. So those are sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value and negative predictive value. So until I meet you with the assessment of validity lecture, I stop this lecture. So thank you very much for listening and also don't forget to stay at home to prevent getting COVID-19. Thank you very much.